Let's understand what is function in a Python. What are the key benefit? How actually we can create a function and what are the inbuilt function is available. A function in a Python is a reusable block of code that perform a specific task. Let's understand with one example. So suppose you have got one requirement. Uh, what is your requirement? Suppose you have given one list. In this list, what actually you have to do? Whatever the element it contain the list, right? You have to do the sum. So what actually I will do? I'll do a I'll write a block of code. I'll write a block of code and this what actually it will do? It will give the sum of all the elements. Means 1 plus 2 plus 3. I will get the output as a 6. So this actually solved my purpose, right? Now next day again I got another list. Now in this again I got a requirement. In this requirement what actually I have to do? I have to do the sum of all the elements which is present into this list. Now for that what actually I will do? Again I will write the same line of code. What this code will do? It will do a sum of all the element and it will give me the result. Now next day again I got the another list. Now what actually I have to do? I have to write the same line of code again so that it will do a sum of all the element and I will get the output. So you can see what actually I am doing. I am writing the same code again and again, right? So instead of doing this, what actually we can do with the help of some function, what actually we can do? We can create one function and whatever the line of code is there right so this line of code i will write here i'll create one function i'll write a line of code what this line of code will do it will do a sum of all the element which is present into the list now next time whenever anyone is giving me the new list new list so instead of writing the uh, this line of code again and again what actually i can do i can directly call the function i'll only call the function and what this function will do it will do the sum of all the element and it, it, it will give me the output so that is the advantage we get so in a function what actually we do we try to reuse the same code again and again instead of writing the same code again and again what actually we can do we can create one function in that function uh, we can write that code and whenever we need it we will co only call the function name and we will get the output so that is the advantage we get in a function now let's see how actually we can create a function we'll get better idea so to create a function suppose you have got one requirement in that requirement what actually you have to do you have to print this hello multiple time this hello multiple places you have to print hello and also you have to print task completed task completed this is the requirement you got like uh, multiple places you have to print this hello and the task completed so what actually you have to do in multiple places you are writing the same print statement and hello and print and task completed right so instead of doing that what actually we can do we can create one function so i'll create one function name as a task and what actually i will do so how actually we create a function def and after that you have to give the function name and after that open and close bracket colon and whatever the line of code right so this is a line of code this is the line of code I will write here and that's how actually we can create a function. So we have to start with def function name open bracket close a bracket colon. Now wherever you require right wherever you required what actually you have to do you only have to call this task. What this task will do it will print the hello and the task completed. So instead of writing this print hello print task completed multiple time what actually we can do now we will co only call the task and what this task will do this will print and hello and the task completed now suppose i, I have to print here also uh, uh, hello and task completed so instead of writing print hello and print task completed what actually i will do i'll only call, call the task and it will give me the output so that is the advantage we get in a uh, function what actually we do whatever the block of code we have to reuse multiple places right we create a function and whenever we need it we only call with the function name and we got the output that is the advantage we get in a function so this is how actually we create a function now let's see what are the few inbuilt function which is available and which we are using right so if you'll see suppose you have given one list now in this list you have to find out the sum of all the elements so what actually we do we write sum and we pass the list and what actually it will do it will give me the sum of all the element which is present into the list right so if you'll see this sum is nothing but a this is, is nothing but a it is a function what actually it is doing it is giving me the sum of all the element means group of code is written and what this group of code is doing it is doing me the sum of all the element 
So suppose you have to find out the what is the maximum element from the given list. So if I'll call the max, it will give me what is the maximum element. So what is max? Max is nothing but it is also one of the function. In that function, what actually happening? One code is written and what this code is doing? It is finding out the what is the maximum element from the given list. Similarly, we have a mean, right? What this mean is doing? Mean is mean is also a function. What this mean is doing? It is finding out what is the minimum element from the given list. So like that we have a multiple inbuilt function is available. Now let's see how actually you can write your own code. You have to create your own function and what this function will do? This will find out the sum of all the element which is present into the given list. So that is your requirement. So how actually we can create a function? So I'll create one function um, addition or something or I will give the name as a summation. I'm creating one function summation. You can give any name. Open bracket, close a bracket. Now what actually I will write? Uh, I have to find out the sum of all the element which is present into the list. So what actually I will write? How actually we can find out the sum? So I will declare one variable a equal to the 0 and I will loop for i in i in l and what actually I will do a plus equal to the i and I will return the I will return the I will return the a return the a a what actually I am doing I have written one code uh, I have written one code summation I will pass one parameter l this, what this parameter will do so whenever anyone will pass the list, any list if anyone will pass, what actually it will do? It will first uh, loop those list and what actually it will do? It will do the sum with this particular A and it will give me the output of the A. Now suppose uh, this is the list, right? Suppose anyone has given one list. I have created one summation function. Now suppose anyone has given this list and you have to find out the sum of all the elements. So what actually I will do? I will only call with the summation summation l i'll get the output you can see 95 suppose anyone has written uh, anyone has given this particular list so what actually i will do you can see 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 right it is doing the sum and it is giving me the output so i have created one function what this function is doing it is looping all the list element and it is finding out the sum and i am getting the output now this function i can call in multiple places this is similar to the sum. So you can see right, this sum function how actually it has written, it has written like this. So whenever anyone is passing any list to this particular sum function, it is giving you the output. So here also if I show you, you can see sum of L you will do, you will get the 24. And here also if you do summation and L, you are getting the 24. So how this sum function is written, this is how actually it has written. And whenever you are calling right, it is giving me you the output of this all the elements. It is doing the sum and it is giving you the output. That's how actually you can create a function and you can call multiple places. Now let's see, you have a one function max, right? How this max function has written, let's understand. So whenever I'm calling this max, right? What actually I'm getting, I'm directly getting what is the maximum element. So suppose uh, this is the list. What is the maximum from the given list? 55, right? How actually we can create a function like this max? Let's understand. So what actually I will do, I will create one function and I will create a function name as a maximum, maximum something I will give name and what actually I will do, it will contain the parameter, it will contain the parameter means you have to pass the list here. So what actually I will do uh, and here I will create a a equal to the 0, a equal to the 0, what I will do, I will loop it for i in l if i is greater than a then a equal to the i i right this is the code i will write and what i will do i will return a now one function i have created now whenever you have to call this function what you have to do if you write the maximum l you will get the uh, what is the maximum element which is present into the list but you have to pass the list also so suppose the uh, list name is 3455 you have to find out what is the maximum from the given list so if i'll pass the maximum l you can see what is the maximum element 55 so i'm getting the output so suppose 444 is given now what is the maximum from here people 4 right so this max function is 
written like this only so this is the code which is uh, written into the max and whenever we are needed we are directly calling so like that actually we create a function and whenever we need right we call this function so you can create your own function and whenever you require it right, you can call that function now let's see how actually we can pass a parameter in a function so you can see whatever the function we are creating right we are passing a parameter also so parameter also we can pass so suppose yeah suppose how actually we can create a function i am creating one function addition and how actually we pass a parameter under this we pass a parameter a b and c like this we pass means you can give any name right now what actually i will do i will just return return a plus b plus c a plus b plus c so i created one function addition and what this function will do it will take a input of three number a b and c means whenever you will call this addition right you have to pass the a plus b and c suppose a is 10 b is 30 and c is 40 so this actually i am passing now whenever i will call this addition right what actually it will do whatever the number is there it will do the sum of this all the number and it will give the output this is how actually we create a function this is how actually we pass the parameter and this is how actually we call the function